Uh, let's just take stock of one more stock right now. Divi's Laboratories. That's one of the big nifty gainers today. What's aiding the up move? Ekta joins in with the details. Ekta. Thanks for that. Well, there is some amount of export data which a lot of the analyst community is looking at and that is basically what is resulting in this up move that we are seeing for Divi's Lab because the March data is indicative of a possible recovery in terms of the ex molnupiravir sales or export sales for Divi's. Now, the export data ex molnupiravir for Divi's Labs in March is basically showing a recovery at $92 million versus around $70 million on a year-on-year -year basis. This particular data of around $92 million, in fact, is the highest that they have indicated uh, since Jan of 2021 and is higher than the run rate of around 50 to 60 million dollars which we have seen in the past few months. Now a couple of key points in terms of the feedback is that the bump, bump up is aided likely by higher custom synthesis sales and supplies of a particular API for a heart failure drug by Novartis which could have added around 15 to 17 million dollars just in the month of March. Now, the March data, however, should probably be taken with a pinch of salt because it is year-end, hence it could probably be seen as a one-off. However, the large data, despite it being lumpy, could possibly also indicate, indicate a trend of a recovery for uh, Divi's labs when it comes to ex molnupiravir sales. Now, the March uh, 2023 data also has no molnupiravir sales compared to around $52 million that they had sold in March of 2022. But this $70 million that we're comparing and $92 million is X of molnupiravir. Just want to point out that for Divi's labs, remember, it has seen quite a correction. It is up around 13% from its 52-week low, but it's still down over 30% from its 52-week high. One of the key points that the street will be watching in terms of their Q4 numbers will be a recovery in terms of the margins, which had fallen to record lows or multi-quarter lows for Divi's Labs in the previous quarter. All okay. right. All right, Ekta, thanks a lot for getting us all of the details. There's just no stopping the stock right now. It's at the high point of the day, over 7% in the green as we speak. But with that, we are going to get into a break. When we come back, we'll bring you excerpts from our conversation with Venu Srinivasan, Chairman Emeritus of TVS Motors. Stay tuned for that big one. <laughs> 